it's Char and I am back with another video. In this video, I am doing a collective haul. I got items from Hobby Lobby, Torrid, and Dollar Tree. So if you guys are ready to see what I picked up in this collective haul, then go ahead and stick around. Okay guys, so the first items that I'm gonna show you are from the Dollar Tree. Um, and the reason why I picked up these items is my um, YouTube sis, Sassy, a.k.a. Lakina, which I will um, try to link her channel below, had posted these socks that she got at Dollar Tree, and I thought they were so cute. So I did go, up, go to look for them, and I found a few pairs. The first pair is this pair that says Frap Queen on it, and I thought that was so adorable. So I got a pack of those, and these are the crew socks, or they're the longer socks. And they're this cute mint green, and then it has the frap in the middle, and then it has like that pink there. So a buck for those. The next pair I got is the wine socks, and these are the no-show socks. These would be great for the summer. I live for a nice glass of Moscato, so I did pick this up. Um, I also like um, some sweet red wines also, so I had to get this pair. The next pair that I got is also a pair of no-show socks, and these are the ones that looks like the coffee cups. So I picked up a pair of those, and those are the only socks that I did pick up at the Dollar Tree. Um, there were a couple other cute ones that she got that I'll be looking for, but those are the three that I found today. All right, the next thing that I found at the Dollar Tree is this cute sign. Look at this sign, guys. I'm going to put it up close. So you can see the picture. It says, hello world. And hopefully you can see that. Look how cute that is, guys. And this is a giant sticker for your room. So I'm going to put that in my beauty room. It has like the gray stripes and then it has the florals. Um, that's it. I don't know if you can see it that good. That's it bigger. So it has that on the one side and then this on the other side. And this, guys, was only a buck. So I like that. Um... I picked up um, two things of washi, um, this washi here, and it has like a crown, diamonds, a rainbow, unicorn. This is going to go in some happy mail, and that is like blue, and then it turns like into like ombre. Hopefully this will focus for you guys on the other side. Come on, focus for me. And then that's it from the front. So I got two of those. All right. So that concludes everything that I got at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you the one item that I picked up um, at Torrid. And it is this adorable Lisa Frank shirt. This is a graphic um, like leopardy neon pair of lips which is kind of the Lisa Frank logo. And then right up under, it has Lisa Frank. So this is a t-shirt. I got it um, kind of bigger because I want to wear it with leggings with a nice ripped jean jacket or maybe a nice long cardigan. I thought that would be cute. So that is the Lisa Frank shirt I got. And this Lisa Frank shirt will match my 600 sticker book fly. <laughs> so, um, as you guys know, I told you I lived for Lisa Frank when I was younger. So when I seen that Torrid had this graphic tee and it was on clearance, y'all, and it was $10, y'all, y'all know I had to pick it up. So I did pick this up. And like I said, it matches my sticker book fly. So that's the only thing I got from Torrid. Super excited about that. All right. The next items that I'm going to show are items that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And the last sets of things I show you guys, y'all going to be like, now, Char, you know you did not need that. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I picked up at Hobby Lobby, and of course, this is that 75% off clearance that everybody has been showing and ranting and raving about. So I've been popping in periodically to see what I could find. So the first thing I got is um, this 50 cards and envelopes. It's the Pretty in Palms by Paper Studio. I was looking for this and I was looking in the wrong section. It was like in the envelope section on like a lower shelf. So I finally found this. It was $9.99 originally and you get 50 
cards for two fifty. And for that price, I'm like, you cannot beat it. Look at these adorable designs, guys, that are on um, the envelopes. The um, LOL girl, a pineapple, those pretty palms. Look at these lips. You guys know I live for the black and white stripes. Um, let's see what else I didn't show you. Oh, these um, swans, the darker palms. Look at these eyelashes. Look at the bobby pins and look at... Um, the cute city scene, and let me show you on this side so you can see it a little better. And that is the other um, design. So for $250, guys, you cannot beat a nice cute set of envelopes. You can throw it in Happy Mail. You can put it with gifts. I mean, you just can't beat that price. So I was so glad that I finally found that. The next thing I picked up in this trip, because I did go to two Hobby Lobbies today, is um, the Made for Personal Planners. Um, non-dated monthly. And I think this is going to fit that pink planner. Um, or will it? I'll have to see. I think this might fit um, that pink planner or it might not. I don't know. Um, the pink planner or I got that holographic personal planner. It's probably going to fit that better. But this was on clearance for $1.24. And as you can see here, it has like notes. These parts you can date. It's double-sided. It has like birthdays, holidays, for, so for $1.24 to have extras and refills um, of these things, you might as well pick it up while it's such a good deal. So again, I got that. It is Agenda 52, and it was $1.24. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys, you're going to be like, really? Really, Charlotte, you really picked this up? Y'all, I got another planner. <laughs> I cannot pass it up, guys. I kept seeing people posting it. They were finally um, finding the Happy Planner Girl line on clearance. And I'm like, my store never even really had the girl line when they first came out. So I knew I ain't going to find nothing on clearance. I'm walking around the store. I go to the back of the store in like a clearance section on the back wall. Y'all, why did I run into Happy Planner Girl heaven? I was like, are you kidding me? And the kicker, guys, is I did not even see this stuff when the Happy Planner Girl first came out. So I am thinking that Hobby Lobby is not putting all these items out. And then they forget to put it out or they don't put it out or they get it late. And then they end up having to clearance it for um, the 75% off price. So I actually have bought the big um, Socialite Happy Planner at like regular price, but I used the coupon. I did not have the mini. So I went ahead and picked up the mini guys. You cannot be finding this happy girl line on clearance. So this was the only mini they had left. They had two of the socialite, the one with the florals all around the edge and then the saying in the middle. And then they had the one with the blue and white stripe. Um, but I didn't get that because I already have a classic. So this is the um, happy girl mini planner. It says, hello, beautiful there. Let me, um, you guys know I have trouble opening stuff on camera. So let me see if this going to give me any trouble. I know you guys, oh my gosh, guys, really? Is this what you're going to do to me on camera? You're just going to embarrass me? This was um, $6.24. All right, so there we go. let me rip this off and then I can slide it off. Okay, $6.24. Um, this is the front cover, and I thought that this was like super cute, guys. Let me get that sticky off. I love the way it's gold, and I like the way the florals are going up the side. So super, super cute, guys. Again, like I said, this was on clearance for $6.24, and it's just a social light mini. You guys have seen flip-throughs of this, but I said for that price and for these to be limited edition, might as well get it. I did not need it, but I would have been thinking about it if I would have left it in the store. So I did pick this up. Um, this is a horizontal layout. It has like top three priorities. I'm going to get some good use out of this, um, even though I did not need it. But I did pick it up. Don't fuss at me. Y'all can uh, curse me out in the comments <laughs> and tell me I didn't need another planner. But this planner was not staying in the store. So I did pick this up. So pretty. 
All right, the next thing I picked up, all of the items I picked up were from the Socialite line. They did have some things from Supermom. They had some things from Faith. They had some sticker books. I did not get the Supermom because I already have the Supermom. I did not get the Faith Warrior because I already have a Faith sticker book. Um, and the Healthy Hero, I don't think they did have a stick. They did have a sticker book, but I didn't think I needed the Healthy Hero because I just picked up the fitness sticker roll. So I didn't get that either. So I really tried to just get what I was going to use because if I would have went ham, it, it would have been bad. So, um, the first thing I picked up, well, the second thing I picked up from the social ad line is these pretty planner patches. I had never caught them um, at any store. They um, do go on planners. I thought they were so cute. You guys know I live for bows and bows and bows. So I had to get this bow. It has you, you're like really pretty. I thought that was adorable. And then this one says, hello, beautiful. I picked up two of those because I said I could use maybe one for my mini. And then maybe one um, for my classic. Or you can put it on another planner, stick it somewhere else. But I thought that they were just so cute. So I got the last two of those. Um, the next thing um, I picked up, I already had for my classic. But I picked it up because I can use this um, envelope here in my mini. So I figured it didn't hurt for $1.99. Um, having this cute um, bow envelope to go in my mini couldn't hurt. So that, like I said, was $199. Oh, let me show you guys the prices again. The patches were $124. And like I said, the planner was $6.24. All right. The next thing that I picked up were the Happy Notes. And I had been looking for these before. I actually had ordered them and did a pickup in store in Joann's and got to the store and it was the wrong item. So I had to cancel it, but I was glad I was able to get these colorful, um, happy notes to stick in my mini. Um, so these will snap right in there. So I did pick that up. These were $1.99. And the last thing that I picked up is the planner accessories pack. This was $1.99 as well. There are 116 pieces in here, including post-it notes, stickers, um, folders, um, just full of socialite cuteness. So this is everything I got from Hobby Lobby today. I know y'all, it's a shame. It's a shame. It, it's y'all fault. Y'all keep posting stuff and then I gotta go to the store. <laughs> But I'm going to try, try, try to get on a no spin, guys, until these new sticker books come out from Happy Planner. Because y'all know, I love florals and I will be in the house for that floral sticker book. So I'm going to try to hold off. I'm going to try not to spend, try to keep my coins in my pocket. But if you guys like this video and you have not subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do decide to describe to describe. <laughs> if you do decide to subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so you do not miss the next time I upload a video. And if you like this haul full of planner, um, Dollar Tree, just shopping goodness, then go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. And I appreciate you guys stopping by and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.